Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Camilla aka Kamiseming and welcome to this new speed build. Actually, this is the second attempt that I made uh, while creating, let's say, this converted fire station because that's why, that's what we're gonna build today. Um, because, yeah, I started this one, um, like, in a completely different way and, yeah, I didn't like what i was creating so i practically bulldozed everything and yeah started from scratch again because i wanted to fix what i already built but then yeah it wasn't working so i basically destroyed everything and started again uh which sometimes sometimes is the best thing to do because yeah there are some things that can't be fixed so yeah it's a little bit little bit better like to give up and start again so today as you saw from the title we are gonna build a converted fireplace so, yeah no fire station <laughs> and we are in magnolia promenade which is the world that came with get to work so it's kind of like a place for shops and for community lots so i thought it was kind of good to place a converted fire station here because probably some time ago it was an actual fire station uh, then that then was like abandoned and I imagine that a kind of eclectic artist bought it and made it uh, his new home um, yeah I imagined that he was a man so but of course you can fit here place here and play here with whoever you want and it's like it has room for up to two sims so yeah you can either have a single sim or a couple living here uh and i imagined this single eclectic sim uh living here by himself and yeah so he's very creative very um extravagant so this house was perfect for this character that i had in mind and as you can see the shape has come together for the second time um and i used a lot of bricks on the exterior and on the interior too as you will see um in just a moment i think because i don't know i looked for inspiration on pinterest because i wanted to build this um this house here so i wanted to build to build this converted fire station but i didn't know actually how so i had this vision in mind but i couldn't really picture how to practically do it so yeah pinterest was a great help in in doing this um and yeah there was a lot of bricks and as you saw i used some of those um windows from spa day combined with some red columns on the sides and some shelves from base game to create like four fake doors i imagine that maybe um these were originally the doors from where the um, like the vans or the trucks i don't know actually how you call them uh of the firemen uh exited the the fire station if that makes any sense so they are kind of garage doors i imagined that are now used as normal windows because i could use i could have used those archways from um jungle adventure because uh also those are kind of perfect for a converted fire station but then I don't know, I wanted a more modern look, so I went for those windows instead. Um, and you probably saw me um, like moving stuff around uh, quite a bit in the beginning because yeah, I tried both of these uh, two ideas. So, and as you can see now, this is kind of a loft um, situation because yeah, I imagine that originally maybe downstairs they had the like trucks um and upstairs they had a sort of an office and the bathrooms and so on um and so yeah this house ends up ends up having two bathrooms bathrooms one is, is downstairs and 
it's only like a half bathroom with a toilet and a sink and upstairs we have like a full bathroom with a shower and and a toilet and a sink and there's also a laundry room slash like pantry a kitchen a dining space and a huge living area um a problem that i was like facing like here at this point was the floor plan because i wanted to keep it very open but then it wasn't working because it was too like everything was like lost in the space there wasn't like a cohesion and everything looked like randomly placed somewhere so i decided to close some parts off like the kitchen for example that still like remains open because there's like a I don't know how to call it like um the loft bedroom looks down into the kitchen so it's closed um downstairs but you can see it from upstairs um i hope that you like get what i mean by this but you probably will see what i mean in just a moment so that you can like get what i was saying because it was kind of like tricky um i didn't know how to lay out the kitchen because it was a weird shape it was very big and i wanted this island but then the stools didn't make any sense in that placement um so yeah i had to work um some time to make this kitchen work also the dining table at first it was in the kitchen and then it didn't make sense because i didn't like how it looked and there was like this huge empty space between the living area and the kitchen so in the end i like closed everything off i also created a laundry room that's next to the um to the kitchen it's like exactly um under the, the upstairs bathroom so it doesn't have it does have a ceiling and yeah because also the kitchen was so huge so i decided to close a part of it off because yeah it looked a little bit better and yeah i used a ton of bricks also inside and um actually the brick is combined with plain like white stucco walls um because i don't know it looked better there was a nice like contrast and i <laughs> struggled a ton with the foundations and with roof trims it was like kind of all a big deal <laughs> that i had to figure out how to make it work um and yeah so as you enter the house you can you like reach this living room which is um which, which has like a tv the usual and i think i placed some guitars also because i imagine that maybe the man who lives here has a lot of like hobbies and passions including music and i created this fake like door sliding door that separates the living space with the kitchen uh, with the um, dining table dining space and i will place down also a bar um like under the staircase because i don't know it i liked the way it looked i had to fill in the space a little bit so yeah i think it's something that it's both useful and also like nice looking um and there's also another like uh, lounge area here next to the downstairs bathroom which is which ends up being very simple as i told you it's just like a toilet a sink and <laughs> that's it practically and yeah i also as you saw i placed down some posters like movie posters that maybe um this actor participated in and a lot of very like modern artwork and but this like modern um touches are like placed in a space very that's very maybe traditional too because and also a bit industrial because i placed down some lights that looked like um they perfectly fit into a normal a yeah a normal fire station and probably the actor kept them because they gave a lot of character to his home and yeah i think it's kind of an original idea i don't know if it is 
you maybe will tell me. Um, and yeah, declutter is not too crazy because there's such a lot of stuff that's going on in this house with the bricks, with the metal that's practically everywhere, with the whole vibe that this house is giving. So I didn't want to clutter things up too much. And I think it's like a safe choice. Um, so I kind of like the overall like look of this house. And as you can see here, I'm combining this china cabinet from Seasons with the actual cabinets of the kitchen. And they use like a debug um, brick wall to like fill in the gap that there was underneath it. I don't know, it was kind of a, an eclectic choice since the man who lives here was an ec eclectic kind of man in my in my mind so i wanted to like translate this aspect of his personality also in the furniture um and as you probably can see even now the color scheme is pretty simple because there was a lot going on with the shape of the house with the metal and yeah so i like went for pretty much all neutrals so black white gray and red especially in the windows and in the uh, trim that goes like all around the house and also this actor here has a dog actually um because i, I don't know it looked like a nice touch because maybe he wants some company since he lives here alone but i think that since he is kind of a famous actor he loves to loves throwing parties so i gave him a sort of a side yard i don't know if you can call it an actual side yard but yeah with an outdoor barbecue area an outdoor dining table and i placed down that hot tub that we got in an update like some months ago there was like it was a very debatable choice that everyone has like something to say about it and I placed it here it's like the first time that I use it um, after the after that update but okay never mind we won't talk about this controversial topic in the sims community so this is the upstairs like loft bedroom I created this like um, wardrobe walk-in closet wardrobe I don't know and uh, to divide the space a little bit because yeah a main problem that i had with this house was the open plan that i had initially in mind that then didn't actually work uh when i came to furnish this house so yeah even upstairs i had to like divide the space to separate the bedroom slash wardrobe area with um this closet here from the study space there's like a desk and some uh, other stuff on the other side um, and on the bed side of the bedroom there is like a full length full height um, wall length I don't know mirror um, yeah and a cozy rug so that this man here can like try outfits on and decide what to wear for his parties maybe and here, as you saw, I placed on my computer, a desk, the basics, and I finish, I'm finishing decorating the upstairs. I wanted to place some chairs somewhere, but I didn't know actually where, so I will be like fiddling with everything a bit. I included also a bookcase and yeah, some lounge areas also here upstairs that will take me a bit to figure out how exactly to to place them but in the end i like how this room turned out because i don't know it's i think very fancy very i don't know appropriate for a famous actor so um and also for such an eclectic actor here so um yeah i don't know <laughs> um and also i managed to use a lot of those uh paintings from city living like in those uh, red and black and white swatches that I don't like ever use some of the swatches it was like the first time that I that I've used them because 
yeah, I didn't find the perfect uh, opportunity to use them until until here, until now. So I was pretty happy with this because I always love when I finally can use something that I'm that I know it's in the catalog and it's like, oh my god, I never used it. How can I use it? Where can I use it? And yeah, today or when I, when I built this house here finally i got the the chance to use it to use those and i created a kind of like gazebo uh, sort of with some columns and a kind of a, a roof piece um with that like glass roof thing that we got from island living and then i will change this fence here with a debug uh, brick wall because i don't know it looked a little bit nicer for the aesthetic of this build so yeah i changed everything here um as you are seeing now and yeah in general it's like a very <laughs> modern and industrial house because there is like no grass practically there's just some some of it under the windows just to add some natural touches because it was too concrete like to me for my liking so i wanted to switch things up and here as you can see i'm creating this kind of gazebo with some wooden roof kind of and there's also a basketball court i thought that maybe um this actor here wanted to invite uh, his friends over and like play a chill basketball game with his friends and then they could like have dinner here together maybe probably he would hire a caterer but maybe he likes actually to cook um cooking because he has such a big and fancy kitchen that it would be like a waste to have it and not actually use it so but i think that we are coming we are done with the build so if you liked it please make sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will see you all in my next video and have a great day bye everybody